Okay guys, so back up at the workshop today and after the terrible start on Friday, I just wanted the car to be absolutely cold by the time I started again. So I'm gonna start it now and see if it starts any better than it did on Friday when I just installed that PCV valve. I'm hoping it's going to start a lot better. I'm hoping that it was just a lack of fuel in the fuel system, uh, but we shall see. Okay, so it did start a lot better. Uh, so I'm hoping that the bad starting was just down to the lack of fuel, as I said. Uh, but it still didn't start as well as it usually does. But I think there's an issue with the choke cable. I've got to mend the choke cable because the fixing at the... Um, I'll show you. At the carburetor is a bit weak. It's this, although it is working perfectly at the moment, so you can... Oops. So you can see here, I need to I need to change this here because it's just threaded on this uh, on this bracket here. But it seems to be working fine. It's not very cold today. In fact, it's well, I wouldn't go so far as saying it's, it's warm, but it's quite it's not very cold today. Um, and it started pretty well, I must admit. So I'm I'm, I'm a bit more relieved than uh, than when it started on Friday. But otherwise, today, uh, what I wanted to do is, because this is Sunday, and I have the um, the uh, TIFF on Friday, so I wanted to tidy up those those bits of bodywork, you know, where I've got that filler, and I also wanted to let it warm up and uh, reset the valves. And what else did I want to do? Uh, maybe if I have time, I can fit the inside light. But let's see how we get on. Okay, so it's pretty much up to operating temperature now. It's sounding pretty good. You can still hear that clack. So, I mean, it's sounding, it's sounding lovely, really. Uh, but what I'm going to do now is I've got all my tools here. I've got the feeler gauge, and I'm going to set the valves. Uh, reset it didn't take me that long actually maybe 10 10 minutes ish something like that so i'm pretty sure the engine is still at good a good operating temperature it's still pretty warm i mean it's, it's very warm still so i'm not worried about that uh, a couple of the valves needed uh, resetting as you probably just saw uh, but what i'm going to do now is i'm going to run the engine with the rocket cover off and do the three foot hose listening test uh, to see if i can hear any of them clacking again Okay, so I hope the camera doesn't wobble and fall off the off the Land Rover. That would be pretty annoying. So here's my not quite three foot length of uh, fuel tube, actually, but that'll do just as well. So actually, for any of you wanting to see what it looks like when the uh, when the engine is running and the valves are going, <laughs> it's actually pretty cool. 
So, I can still hear a bit of a clack, but let's see what, what I can hear. Valve number three, and maybe four. Hmm, and maybe seven. Right. Three, four, and seven need adjusting again. <laughs> so that is actually a pretty cool test. I could hear, not by really putting the, the pipe on the, the, the rocker, uh, but on the, uh, just next to the valve itself. And I can hear those three valves, three, four, and seven were making a bit of a noise. So I'm gonna adjust those now. Okay, so I've just set those three valves. Uh, seven didn't actually need doing, so I don't know why that was ticking, but I'm just going to start it up again and test. Have a quick check, everything's okay. That's all out the way, that's out the way. Make sure the crank handle's out. And very importantly here, look, somebody recommended a bungee cord to hold the roof back. It's an absolutely brilliant idea. So I've hooked it off the, the safari roof there and onto the bonnet. So that's an excellent recommendation. Okay, so, get my hose out again. Make sure I choose the right end because I don't want oil in my ear. Yikes, that, that three is really tapping still. And seven. So seven is still tapping. Uh, three and four. Oh, that's strange. Okay, maybe I'll have to do them again then. But those three. Okay, so I've just retightened that uh, or reset that uh, number three valve, and I think I'm just going to leave it there because that's three times now. And if it's if it's still clacking a little bit, then hmm, I don't know if there's much I can do about that. But it's not really that bad, and I'm pretty pleased with all of the clearances. So I'm going to uh, put it all back together now.
Okay, so here's a lesson learned. Obviously never do any work, especially outside, when you don't have a cover on the uh, carburetor because you can see right down in there, there is a piece of, piece of something or other which has fallen in there and I can't, it's not focusing. But you can see that black spot there and I can't get it out uh, without taking the carburetor off apart, so, or the carburetor off. So, so I can also see some other small bits in there too. So I am going to have to take the carburetor off again. Happy days. I think it looks like a bit of, a bit of rubber actually. And that was just sitting inside the carburetor and that bit too. So it doesn't actually look like that fell in when I was working. It, it might have, I don't know, maybe it got sucked through in the air intake or something. But anyway, it's out now and I've cleaned the carburetor and put it all back together. Apart from that. That's in there. That's there. Cool. Okay, so I was just doing some finishing up today and if you remember that was where I did the repair uh, or a couple of repairs. I did some there and did some there and I got the, the marine blue and I actually put it on with a brush and then went over it with a very small roller and it's by no means perfect you know if you get up close you can you can see basically where i've painted but from a couple of meters away it just sort of tidies that up and hides those those white white um spots of filler uh on the back there i did a little bit around here as well just touching up but i haven't done much at all and on the other side as well, I've done the same repair as I've done on the other side and painted there a little bit and painted a little bit there. But otherwise I've left it exactly as it is. I don't want to do too much painting as you know, I want to keep everything original. There was a question of whether I, whether I did this big one here because that's not uh, dent related or there's no kind of exciting or funny story which, which hides behind that. It's just literally where the paint has flaked off. So. I was wondering whether I actually do that. I might do that at some point because it's quite a big patch, but um, that's probably as far as I'm going to go. And it's actually looking pretty good, I think, anyway. At some point I will do that, that rear door because it needs some uh, rust work. I mean, nothing's, nothing's that bad. It's just uh, I need to, to, to work on that door just to be able to save it because at the moment there's nothing, there's no rust. Uh, that's gone through the metal. It's just surface rust, but uh, at some point it'll need doing. But yeah, we are pretty much done for the day. And I'll see what I'll do this week uh, before the MOT or before the uh, the test. But maybe I said the, as I said, the inside light. But uh, let's see, let's see what I get done. Uh, this is also from the last video, all looking good in here. The uh, the idea that I had was to make some kind of a protection under here, maybe some wheel well liners or something. It'd be really cool to make something like that because when I drive around, just around this sort of terrain here, I mean, this is, I think they've put grit down because of the, the, the snow last week. Um, so it, it, these tires pick up everything, you know, they fling everything up into the wheel wells. And when I was uh, cleaning under here, around the other side, actually, I noticed that some of the stone chip that I'd put on, which is new, had already chipped off because, yeah, so I don't know, maybe I'll, maybe I'll make something up. Um, maybe one of you guys have already made some wheel, uh, wheel well liners, or maybe you know where I can get some. I know they do them uh, for the Defenders in the 90s and the 110s, but I've seen nothing for the Series 3. But anyway, that's another job for another day. So I'm going to tidy up now, put everything away, go for one last little drive, and... See you in the next video.